Well, everybody, I have sinus problems that are just horrible right now. But I wanted to do a quick video addressing a couple comments on my DSM-7 videos. And I'm, I apologize for the flickering screen here uh, on my monitor. For some reason, regardless of the camera I take pictures with on this beautiful Samsung 49-inch gaming monitor, it always flickers. And I'm not going to take time to try and remove the flickering. But uh, one comment on the DSM-7 uh, review part 2 was asking if Windows 10 ran well and smoothly on DSM-7. Well, this morning I went ahead and installed uh, Windows 10 1909. Okay, so I went ahead and installed 1909 on my DS918 Plus with 12 gig. I have 12 gig of RAM memory in this DSM918 Plus and uh, on DSM7. And it ran. It, it ran um, and I installed the, uh, the configuration files, the Synology files uh, on it. And uh, it worked uh, it worked okay. It worked better than on uh, the 6.23 update two. Uh, so I went ahead and I shut it down, and then I get an email from my uh, this station saying that my memory is low and it's dropping applications. So uh, I went in to check to make sure that I had turned it off, and it was off in Virtual Machine Manager, but it was everything was just at bare minimums of physical memory. So um, I went ahead and uh, uninstalled it, took the uh, image out, and got rid of it. So later on in the day, I'm like, well, maybe I should go ahead and see if there's a way to downgrade from 7. And there's only one article on it, believe it or not. But there is an article on it in a tutorial. And it is a white knuckle uh, for somebody that's not working in uh, Unix command line or VI but this actually works and now I am running again and after loading my configuration file um, as you can see DSM 6.2.3-25426 update 2 my DSM is up to date all my files were there all my users were imported when I uploaded my uh, Synology DSS file. So uh, that worked just, just great. And uh, now I'm back to a less pretty version of the Station Manager, but with all the functionality of the packages that I had, including, as you can see, Plex Media Server. So now I have my Plex back where it belongs. It's off of my Mac Pro, and uh, I'm a happy camper again. Have a great day, everybody. I'm Jay with JRWeldy.net. Please stay safe.